Hello, hello, I'm Andrea and it's my first day of school. So let's head to campus. I'm enrolled in the one-year textile and surface design associate's degree program. So that means I'll be taking classes in painting, digital art, weaving, knitting, and more. I'm so excited to go back to school and have the chance to pursue a new path that brings me so much joy. When I got to campus, I went straight to the campus's main building, the Feldman Center, to check in with security and pick up my new student ID card. I then headed up the escalators for my first class called Computer Aided Print Design. This class will focus on creating repeating textile designs using computer software like Adobe Photoshop. I then went to the cafeteria for lunch where I got to know some of my classmates. My second class of the day was a screen printing class, which I'm super excited about. I've always wanted to try screen printing, and I'm really excited to have the chance to design and print my own fabrics. And that's it for day one! I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. When I got home, I had the best surprise waiting for me. My boyfriend Ryan made us a whole tray of one of my absolute favorite foods using the recipe that my mom taught him. I may have teared up a little bit. Good morning, it's day two. <laughs> my first class of the day was Japanese one, which isn't a part of my textile design program, but I'm just taking it for fun. After class, I sat outside in the sunshine and enjoyed the lunch that Ryan had packed for me. And then I realized that there's a Starbucks on campus and that that Starbucks has pumpkin spice drinks and I couldn't resist. My next class was Introduction to Woven Design, which is the class that I'm definitely the most excited about. We're starting out the class on hand looms, but I couldn't resist gawking at all the gorgeous floor looms in the weaving studio. I'm pretty sure we'll be using these later on in the semester. We were asked to bring in an object from nature to this class session, which would inspire our first weaving project. I brought these macaw feathers from my days of working at a bird hospital, and I picked out this linen yarn to use as my warp. I know that making a linen warp is a bit risky, but I've always wanted to weave with linen, so I wanted to give it a try. Worst case, I'll just have to start over, which is no big deal. I also started on one of our homework assignments, which was to collect samples of yarn that reflect the qualities of our chosen object. I then headed home and took a very, very long nap. Happy rainy Wednesday. <laughs> it's definitely not pretty weather today, but we'll make the best of it. <laughs> I also realized that I'm wearing a black and white cat themed outfit for the second day in a row, but no shame there, I'm fully embracing it. Let's go. My first class of the day was called Textile Design Studio Practice, where we'll be using traditional techniques to design repeating patterns. This means lots of painting, which I'm a bit nervous about, but I hope I'll make it work. I then enjoyed some more Budak during my lunch break before my next class, which is called Nature Studies. This class focuses on building up our drawing and painting skills using flowers, leaves, and other natural objects as our subjects. After class, a group of us decided to explore the campus a little bit. One really cool thing about this program is that there's only 25 students and we all have every single class together. So even after only three days, we all pretty quickly became friends. 
We found ourselves in the basement where they had some pretty amazing equipment, like computerized looms and knitting machines. I really hope I can take a class down here someday. We then decided to go art supply shopping because we needed some things for the next day of classes. It was raining, but none of us really thought that would be a big deal. <laughs> it's really coming down. I picked up some supplies for a few of my classes, and we also had to go to the register to pick up a kit that one of our teachers had prepared for us for her class. This kit was way, way bigger than we thought it would be, which would have been fine had the rain not turned into a literal hurricane. Carrying this box home ended up being a horrible experience because the winds were so strong that the box basically dragged me through the city like a kite. And I was absolutely soaked when I got home, but thankfully I made it back safely. After showering, I really needed to know what exactly it was that I struggled to carry through the city during a massive natural disaster. If I carried this whole box in the pouring rain, just for that, I'm gonna be pissed. There better be something underneath it. The giant box contained a roll of tracing paper, a whole bunch of supplies for gouache painting, and... Oh my god, this is literally just four sheets of paper. I hate that. Good morning, happy sunny Friday. Um, I actually didn't end up at... I actually didn't end up recording anything yesterday because one of my teachers called out, so I ended up just staying home and using the day to study. Um, but today should be a lot of fun because I'm heading to campus and then as a class, we're heading off to a field trip. So I'll take you along on that journey. For our field trip, our class visited the New York Public Library's picture collection to gather reference images for our first project. <laughs> This is actually a really fun experience. The library has a folder for basically every subject you can imagine, and each folder is stuffed with images that the librarians have been collecting for over 100 years. I couldn't really decide what I wanted to make yet, so I started by looking at images related to swimming. I pulled folders with titles like swimming, swimming pool, water, waves, oceanography, etc. I ended up checking out 13 photos to use as references, but I think I might end up changing my mind and going back to the library sometime next week. Before our next class started, some of us decided to stop by a Japanese bookstore that was nearby the library. This is one of those stories where I had to stop myself from buying literally everything. <laughs> Our afternoon class ended super early, so Sophia and I decided to take the train to Nitty City to look at some yarn. She picked up some really cute yarns to make a top. We then met up with Ryan and had some pink cocktails and tacos to celebrate the end of our first week. I'm so excited for the semester ahead, and I hope to keep making videos like this to document the journey. Things will definitely get more exciting as school picks up and I actually get to start making things, so if that sounds fun to you, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.